I'm going to make a, a sound fret for an oak grandfather clock. Uh, this is a rubbing from an original. Uh, it's a bit small, so I've scaled it up to the size I need it. Uh, I have a few pieces of oak to make it out of. Uh, that one I'm not so keen on. Um, that one's not bad, but it's, it's flaked off on that corner, that edge. Uh, but it, it'll be alright, I'll get away with it. But this one I prefer. Uh, it's quite wild grain and it does match the case a lot better. Uh, so I'm going to use that. If it doesn't cut well, if I have any problems, then I'll, I'll use that one. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is transfer that onto here. There's a little bit of carving to do uh, here and there, but uh, like I say, with it being wild grain, it, it might be a bit tricky, but it should be okay. That's come out well enough, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, it's to replace uh, one on a clock that's 
it's just got a strip of oak on it at the moment, which is not original. I'm not sure what should have been on there. Uh, I don't think it'd have been glass because it's a little bit early this case for, for glass. Could have been a uh, just a piece of pine painted blue and, and the gilding painted on it. I'm not so sure it could have had a fret like this. Uh, I'll put this on and I'll pin it on so that it can be taken off if we find out what it should be. Uh, so this just needs a bit of stain polish, a bit of material on the back uh, and that should do. I've pinned down some French polish, added a bit of um, aniline dye. I'm just going to coat the back of this. So you can see that's a, a different colour um, to the original. So when that goes on, I think that'll look a lot better. Like I say, it's not permanent, so it, it can be taken off if it needs to. So you can see from the inside, that piece there is a different colour from everything else. 